Hey guys, are you ready to have a productive Sunday? Let's go. So we're actually going to start out on Saturday because I did not really film much Saturday, but I wanted to still tell you guys what I did. So I actually went over to my stepdad's house and helped him shoot some video. He's working on a product that he wants to sell. And so I'm kind of helping him uh, film some video and make a commercial. It's uh, something that he's really excited about. And after that, I went ahead and went to the car wash and then I decided to shop at Joanne for a little bit and see what they had in terms of spring decor. So you can see here, they actually had some pretty cute stuff. I didn't really buy too much. I think I only bought a few things, maybe about $15 or so, and I did not share it in this video, but they did have some really cute home decor for spring. You can see here like some of the uh, spring themed. They had like some really cute nature themed items and some yellow items, which I always love a pop of yellow in my home. They had these really cute ceramic berry baskets. Those would be really great for decorations if you were looking for something like that. And I also looked at their plant stands because I was looking for one for a plant that I have. And they had these really cute wall decorations that were all kind of like bee and honeycomb and spring themed. So definitely check that out if you are looking for some spring decorations at your local Joanne. So it's now Sunday morning and yeah, I wasn't that productive yesterday, but that's fine. Today I have a sense of urgency to get things done. So I have some things I wanna do in the kitchen. Right now I'm gonna go downstairs and make breakfast. It's a little bit before 10 a.m. Yes, we slept in <laughs> this morning, um, but I have a lot of stuff to cross off my list today, so let's go. Okay, so I went ahead and made a to-do list because when I make a to-do list, I always feel more productive. So I need to do some meal prep today for the week. I'm gonna be filming that as part of a separate video, but it's something I need to get done today Day because obviously since I work during the week I need to maximize my time <laughs> on the weekends I need to meal plan for the week get the rest of my laundry done and folded there is a hall closet upstairs that I really really need to get organized I did get some bins for that so we're gonna work on that today I need to go shopping for some more produce um, I should be good on groceries I did a huge Walmart grocery haul um, I think it was the last week you guys have probably already seen that video but we're out of like some fruit and fresh veggies and stuff so I'll need to get that um, I was gonna drop off dry cleaning today but I realized that they're not open till Monday they're not open on Sundays so they're open 7 to 6 p.m. tomorrow so I can do that in the morning um, I'm working on an instant pot meals video which I need to get finished today you guys will have probably already seen that so there's a couple things I have to finish for that and then I also want to plan for the week ahead so I did make my coffee um, you guys saw in last week's weekend prep video that I did my coffee bar and I'm so happy with it whoops I need to put the milk away um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love it. It's just like one of those things that I don't know every time I look at it It makes me so makes me so happy. So yeah, that's done. So I made a sugar-free caramel vanilla um, Ice latte with just some espresso some milk and some sugar-free syrup right now I'm going to unload the dishwasher and get it loaded with the dirty dishes I want to take a quick moment and thank today's video sponsor ladder if you guys didn't know my mom actually passed away very unexpectedly and i have never really gone through something like that before i cannot believe how many things there are to take care of after someone passes away it was honestly quite overwhelming but thank goodness she did have life insurance the funeral actually was around thirteen thousand dollars which i was highly shocked by but i was like i said very glad my sister i and my stepdad were very glad that she did have 
have life insurance coverage because that's one less thing that we had to think about. On that note, it really does make sense why people should get life insurance, especially term coverage, which is surprisingly affordable. With Ladder, for example, a healthy 35-year-old man could get $1 million in coverage for just $35 per month. I would say giving your family a million dollars of financial cushion is well worth the price. And if you think so too, choose Ladder. Ladder makes it fast and easy to apply for coverage. You just need a few minutes and a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time, so you'll find out instantly if you're approved. There are no hidden fees and you can cancel any time. You can also get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. And since life insurance costs more as you age, now is the time to cross it off your list. Adam and I both have term life insurance policies on ourselves as well. Obviously, it's really important since we have young kids and a mortgage to pay off in the event that something happens to one of us. But if you guys want to go to the description box below, you can go to ladderlife.com slash Jen today to get your free quote. That's L-A-D-D-E-R life.com slash Jen, ladderlife.com slash Jen to get your free quote. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, so before I hand wash my dishes, I wanted to show you guys this very small Grove haul that I got this week. I usually order from them. I don't know, I feel like I used to order from them more frequently, but it's probably about every two or three months now. But they had this new scent, the Mrs. Myers Daisy. So I wanted to try that. I ended up getting the set where you got the multi-surface spray, the dish soap, the um, room freshener, hand soap, and then it also came with a little candle, which I thought was neat. And then I got an extra peony dish soap because I always run through the dish soap fastest. And then I also got this Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond, which is delicious, it smells delicious if you've never had it before. I'm not sponsored by Grove. Um, I do have a code where if you use it for the first time, I think you get like a free five piece Mrs. Myers gift set. So I'll link that down below. I also got another one of these scrub brushes. I use these to scrub my sink out. And then I got some more hand sanitizer gel to put in my purse. I also got some more of these walnut um, sponge scrubbers. I really like these. I always keep a stock of those on hand. And look at these beautiful flowers that Adam sent me as a surprise this week. Very pretty. been really loving this pink stuff cleaner to clean out my sink and my stove and stuff um, I found this on Amazon so I can put a link for it in the description box if you're interested they have several different kinds uh, but it works really well it actually smells really good too I think it smells I don't know it smells a little bit like bubble gum it's not like super strong but a little bit one of these glisten um, disposal cleaners you just put it down there with some hot water and turn it on whoops wrong switch okay i'm going to started on making some meat sauce for the lasagna I'm gonna deliver later today. So I've got four pounds of ground beef in here. I'm gonna learn my lesson and make extra <laughs> this time uh, because then I don't have to make meat sauce every weekend. 
when I go and deliver a lasagna. So I'm gonna go ahead and just saute this up. I'm gonna season it with salt, pepper, and some minced onion, and probably some um, Italian seasoning. So once the ground beef was done cooking, I took the opportunity to go through my freezer <laughs> and find a bunch of tomato products that needed to be used up. So there was some tomato paste in there, so I added that along with a little bit of water just to thin it out. I had some frozen pizza sauce, put that in there, a can of regular tomato sauce, and then two jars of just regular marinara sauce, one from Hy-Vee and one from Rayo's. So this is basically done now. I just have to season it. So I'm gonna let it simmer, I don't know, probably for about 20 minutes, just over like a medium low heat, and then I will give it a taste. It'll probably need a little bit of extra salt and seasoning, um, but then we'll have the meat sauce done for the lasagna. Okay, so my meat sauce is done. I just added a little bit of salt and about a tablespoon of sugar and some Italian seasoning, and it turned out perfect. I'm just gonna let it cool a little bit um, before I assemble my lasagna. I do have some no-boil noodles this weekend, so I don't have to worry about that part. Okay, so I'm gonna make the filling, the cheese filling for the lasagna. So I've got one egg in here, and this is a ricotta cottage, cottage cheese mixture that I had left over from a uh, manicotti that I made. So I'm just going to add that in there. And I don't have any extra cottage cheese right now, which is fine. Normally I like to mix cottage cheese and ricotta, but I totally um, thought I had some. Therefore, I didn't get any at Walmart but that's totally fine. It'll work just the same. So I'm gonna add some ricotta in here. <laughs> and I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. All right, so we're gonna build our lasagna. I'm gonna add some meat sauce to the bottom here so it doesn't stick. And then, like I said, I'm using the oven ready um, barola noodles. And yes, I know that you can just use regular noodles and not boil them, but I have a certain way I like to do it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to do it like I like to do it. If I use regular lasagna noodles, um, I do boil them just a little. Okay, I'm gonna add some of my cheese mixture. I'm gonna add some more sauce. Murphy's standing down here like, I would like some lasagna. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of mozzarella and then more noodles and repeat all the layers. I normally try to put like four layers of pasta um, and then obviously as it bakes, it will expand. Okay, so here's my lasagna all assembled. I added some cheese to the top, some extra marinara sauce. Again, I put extra sauce in there because the noodles are dry and they will cook and absorb it. And this will mostly expand to fit the pan. You can see that there's some extra room on the sides here because those boil, no boil noodles are a little bit short. But I'm gonna bake this for an hour and it'll take us about half an hour to get to where we're going to deliver it. So as soon as I take it out of the oven, I'll um, box it up and it's important after you make lasagna to let it sit before you cut into it, but obviously that will be built into the drive time. Okay, so I did take a break and go to Walmart and pick up a few things um, for this week. So let me start down here with the produce. I got some bananas. Kids can snack on those. If they don't get them all eaten, I can freeze them for smoothies or make banana bread. I also got some strawberries. I got two, um, one two pound package and one one pound package. My kids go through these super fast, so I buy a lot of them. 
Um, I got some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. I got some rosemary for an instant pot recipe I'm gonna make. Um, I saw this in the um, like prepared produce section. Um, it's like a veggie tray and it's got carrots and like turkey sticks, tomatoes, ranch, celery, broccoli, and cheese cubes. Um, I thought that was pretty good and it was around $10, which I know is a little bit expensive, but honestly for all that you get in that, I think it's a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and got that just to kind of snack on it throughout the week and it's resealable, which is nice. Stuff like this is nice too because obviously it's already pre-prepped so you can just kind of grab out of it, throw it in the kids' lunch boxes, boom, good to go. Um, I got some blueberries to wash up and have for fruit this week. Some broccoli, I do have a recipe for broccoli cheese soup that I think I'm gonna make sometime this week. I got one avocado, two limes. Um, I got some of these sweet snacking peppers. Um, the kids really like to snack on bell peppers so I got these mostly for them. And then um, I looked at the raspberries. The last couple times I've bought raspberries, they've gone bad really, really quick. And my kids actually like blackberries better. So I decided to get two packages of those. Um, I got some green grapes. So I'll wash those up for the weekend or for the week ahead rather. And I've got um, a box coming from Imperfect, not Imperfect, um, from Misfit Market tomorrow, which doesn't have a whole lot in it, but it's got around like $35 worth of produce. So I went ahead and looked at what was in that and we'll have enough, you know, plus this to get us through the week. Um, I got some more milk in case we run out of that just for cereal and coffee and things like that. Um, I got some sour cream. I got two of these pepperoni panino packages. Kids really like those. I got one turkey and cheddar lunchable, one pizza lunchable. Um, I'll just put these, you know, one of these in the kids' lunches for a treat this week, and they'll be excited about that. Um, she really likes the Cracker Barrel sharp cheddar cheese um, for cheese and crackers, so I got some of this. And then I don't believe I've ever seen this before. This is a charcuterie roll. It's uh, mozzarella and salami rolled up. So I thought Adam might like to try that for a snack at work this week. I did get some smoked Gouda. It's been a long time, but a while back I made some of the copycat. Um, I think it's like smoked mozzarella pasta salad that you can get from Whole Foods. I have a really hard time finding smoked mozzarella, but I can find smoked Gouda. So I thought I might make some of that. So I got one of those. And then I got a two pack of these um, turkey and cheese cube snacker type deals. Um, for lunch meat, I got some roasted turkey, some ham, some cheddar cheese. And then I did also get some beef bologna. I haven't bought this in a couple months and Connor actually likes bologna sandwiches with ketchup and mustard for his lunch sometimes. I got this um, turkey breast. This actually is a Jenny O like oven ready turkey breast. I don't think I'm gonna cook this in the oven. I think I'm gonna make it in the slow cooker, but I wanna try and make hot turkey sandwiches maybe some night this week. So I decided to try that. Um, I also got some of these spicy chicken tenders. These are actually breaded with um, rice flour and cauliflower. They're pretty good. Connor likes them, so I got those. Um, I have not bought these <laughs> in a long time, but if you've never had these egg sausage and cheese burritos with potatoes, they're breakfast burritos, they're really, really good. I am going to be meal prepping probably today, but I, don't, I didn't know if I was going to make anything for breakfast. And Adam always needs quick breakfast throughout the week, so I decided to grab these for this week. Um, I got some rolls because I may be making some Italian beef this week. We'll see if I can get that done. And then I saw these um, fruit twists. I don't know what the brand name equivalent of these is, um, but they don't have any added sugar in them. So I got these for the kids' snacks and lunch boxes. Um, I got some of these frozen hash brown patties. Um, these are actually really quick to put in the air fryer in the morning and if I want to make some scrambled eggs and those for the kids breakfast that is super easy to do. I got a family pack of these um, Ritz cheese crackers just for the kids backpacks for snacks for school. Um, I got some frozen hash browns for a potato soup recipe that I want to try and then for the lasagna this afternoon when we deliver it I want to make some garlic bread to go with that so I just got these three cheese garlic knots I can put in the oven. I did have to get some dog food. I'm gonna have to check my subscription frequency with Chewy because I do get Murphy's dog food from there, but for some reason we're out and I don't know when the next time we're getting any is. So 
I needed some to hold this over. This is just the Purina one dry food. And then I got him some greenies also for dental chews. And then I decided to try some of these for him. They are just like a rawhide free um, kind of chew snack. I got some napkins, some mouthwash for Connor. This is the Act Grape. I got some more lens wipes. We use these for our glasses and my cameras and everything else. Um, I also got some disposable coffee cups, I almost said mugs, <laughs> to go on my coffee bar. I don't drink a whole lot of hot coffee much anymore, but sometimes Adam does, so I thought I would get those. It would be super easy for him to take to work. And then I got some diet soda, some diet 7-Up, and some diet Mountain Dew. Okay, so now that I showed you guys everything that I got at the grocery store, I wanted to go ahead and put some of the things away and in the fridge. I've been trying really hard to try and get everything organized and my produce prepped when I get home from the store because it just makes it so much easier. And then I feel like I have a stocked organized fridge to deal with for the rest of the week. And obviously when we wash all of our produce, we tend to eat it uh, that much more. So it just makes a lot of sense to get it done. Done right after I get home even though it's not always something I really want to do right away I just kind of have to make myself do it okay so I had exactly three lasagna noodles left which makes a perfect little lasagna in this loaf pan so I went ahead and assembled that and um, I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and maybe I'll make it one time for lunch this week or you know one night for dinner for Adam and I I don't know at some point we'll get it eaten okay so I just want to show you guys what this turned out like before I cover it up and we deliver it but you can see that obviously it expands to fit the pan and as it sits for the next half hour it will absorb some of that liquid normally i try to put it in a box just because it's easier to carry that way so i've got the lasagna down here and then i just put the garlic bread on the top all right so we just got back from delivering lasagna and i just decided you know why make something else for dinner tonight that's ridiculous so i made that other small lasagna here i think that's what adam and i are gonna have um, I still have some meat sauce left and Connor really likes to have like pasta with meat sauce so I'm just boiling some linguine that I had in the pantry and then we're gonna have that and then I have some garlic bread in the oven and I'm gonna make salad. So I just wanted to make some side salads with dinner. So I'm adding some romaine lettuce to these bowls that I had in the refrigerator. I also had some cucumber that I chopped up and added in there. I've really been liking to put some chopped or sliced pepperoni in my salad. So I added that as well. I added some cherry tomatoes, some broccoli, and then I did have some homemade ranch dressing that I added to the top as well as some carrots. Okay, so here is the little lasagna that I baked for Adam and I. Uh, I just kind of <laughs> made it fall apart, but it turned out really good. Um, so I'm going to eat a piece of that, and I made myself a salad to go with it. All right, so now we are moving on to some produce prep. I had some grapes here that I needed to get washed up, so I just like to wash those in my salad spinner. You guys know I always like to wash everything, basically all my produce, in my salad spinner. So I'm just peeling the, or not really peeling, I'm just taking the grapes off of the vines and adding them to the strainer bowl. And then what I like to do is just run some really cold water over those along with some vinegar and I just kind of swirl those around and let them sit probably for about 20 minutes you can let them sit longer if you have the time and just kind of um, use your sprayer to kind of swish them around a little bit to get all of the dirt off once they have soaked you can go ahead and rinse them off really well and I'm going to pour them into this produce keeper that I got at Costco I really like these they work work really well and the best part is is that you can put them in the dishwasher so that is something that I definitely <laughs> like about these. And then I also had a pineapple that I wanted to get cut up. I had actually purchased this the week prior and it held up really well. So I just like to take the bottom and the top off of this and then I stand it up on end and I cut all of the um, spines or the skin off of the sides. Then I quarter it vertically into four pieces i cut the core out and then i cut that lengthwise into three pieces and then just cut them into cubes this is the best way i find to cut uh, pineapple i know that some people have those like pineapple cores that also slice the pineapple i don't have one of those i feel like i don't need any more <laughs> gadgets in my house unless they are like 
you know, specifically very useful. Um, but this works just fine for me. I went ahead and took out any of the parts that had like extra dark spots on them since, like I said, this has been sitting on my counter for a week. It was still good. There were just a few parts of it that were a little bit ripe, but either way, it was really good. And we ate this throughout the week. So this is the closet that I'm going to be working on today. And honestly, I did not want to get this done. I had to make myself do it, but here it is. It is a mess. This is the linen closet that's in my upstairs hallway. And it is just a mess of like blankets and towels. And there's a basket full of like over the counter meds in there that needs to be organized. I've got pillows in there. I have saved like all of the kids comforters from when they were toddlers and I've got pillowcases and swim stuff and beach towels and dog collars and I don't know you guys are going to see all the junk that's in there it's a lot it's <laughs> it's a lot of crap but anyway I got these bins from Amazon to organize everything um, I thought they would work really well and they did end up working really well they are really sturdy they were a little bit I don't want to say they were tough to put together but since they are so sturdy it took a little bit of uh, manpower or woman power shall we say to get the wires set up in there and to get them velcroed so that they wouldn't snap back um, I would recommend these I think that they are really sturdy bins for like any linens or towels or things that you have like that that you want to organize in a closet so I'll link them down below like I said I got them on Amazon they come in two different sizes I purposely ordered some different sizes like some of the larger ones and some of the smaller ones because I knew that if I did one of each they would both fit on the shelves in my closet I did measure um, before I ordered them so make sure that you do that if you're going to order these for a specific task but once I got them all put together then I started to take everything out of the closet this was probably the biggest task and then I was deciding like what needs to be kept what needs to be passed on I took all of those like over-the-counter meds out and I'm gonna go ahead and organize those in a little bit with some things that I purchased for uh, my Dollar Tree first aid kit which you guys probably saw that video a couple weeks back um, there are a ton of sheets in here some of them are full and some of them are queen um, I just had to take the best guess, <laughs> the best guess on which was which. Connor has a um, a queen size bed and Kira has a full size bed. So I guess when I go to put them on, I'll find out if I sorted them out right or not, right? But anyway, um, I have kept like all of the kids comforters since they were toddlers. There was like a Paw Patrol uh, comforter in there. You can see here, there's a My Little Pony one. There was like a rainbow one, just like multiple things that my kids have had since they've been toddlers. And I do like to save blankets and comforters because I find that I do use them, especially like if the kids are sick or something and, you know, I want to lay them down on the couch with a blanket and a bowl or, you know, you guys know you, if you have kids, you know, <laughs> when they get sick um, or just if their regular comforters are dirty and they're in the wash, it's nice to have those extra ones to be able to put on their beds. I don't know. I just like to keep some of them around, but honestly, I don't need to keep every single one of them. So I ended up just keeping one or two. I think I kept the Paw Patrol one that used to be Connor's. Um, and then I kept one of the My Little Pony ones and put it down in the basement in case we needed it. But anyway, this is what the closet looks like when I cleaned it out. Hallelujah. It looks empty. The only thing that's left is a space heater in the bottom. So my next task was to get back to work and basically put everything back in. So I was able to fit all of the folded linens into one of these larger bins that I stored on the top shelf. Um, I was pretty happy about that. I was actually pretty happy with how much these bins held. My plan, which really worked, was to basically have them hold um, like folded up sheets and towels and things like that just so the closet like when you looked in could be a little bit more organized and not just be like a mess of sheets and blankets like shoved in there because for so long when I opened this closet I swear to god it's one of those closets where you would open it and just like things would fall out and then you would like shove it back in and close it close the door really quick <laughs> so that nothing else would fall out you guys know you guys have those closets too so this is something that I've really been wanting to get done for a long time and I was really Glad to have it done. Like I said, I did not want to do it, but I made myself and I feel so much better. That is a lesson of uh, today's video, right? It's like, just do it. You, 
it's definitely things that you don't want to do but when you take the time to do it honestly it takes a couple hours and it's done with so in that bin you saw me folding up some washcloths and some towels and putting those in there this one has bath towels in it and now i'm going to get to work organizing all of these medications so i had this tub already in my closet that had like just some cold medicine calamine lotion I don't know all kinds of stuff in it that I've collected over the years I ended up having to throw out some of the things because they had expired in 2020 and 2021 and like I said I did make a video on a Dollar Tree first aid kit which also included over-the-counter meds um, that video uh, is on my channel so I can link it down below and in that one I share with you guys basically how I got all of these items for I think it was around 30 or 35 dollars from the Dollar Tree to make a first aid kit along with over-the-counter supplies and I'm really glad to have all of these things but like I said I just needed to kind of consolidate everything put everything back together organize it in this bin so I knew what I had so here is how everything looks after it is done I put a smaller bin on the top that's where I I put all of my over-the-counter meds and dressings and bandages and stuff this larger bin has sheets in it and mattress pads this bin right here on the second shelf down has my bath towels um, this one has hand towels and washcloths and then the next shelf down has beach towels that will be nice to have all those separated out for the summer and then on the next shelf is some extra blankets and a comforter and then on the very bottom is a pool bag that we keep with all of those supplies in it so thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to check out ladder i'll have all of the information in the description box below and if you guys want to see how i made my very own diy coffee bar you can click on the video right here thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye